Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday morning, it's another lovely sunny day and we are off on holiday tomorrow. I don't know how, it's come around so, so quickly. You know when you feel like you've got loads of time to pack and be organized and get everything sorted and then before you know it, we're going tomorrow and I've literally still got loads to do before I go. I've got loads of editing to do, I've got loads of packing to do. I have just got, yeah, so much to do. I literally, last night I was kind of like, sat there thinking, what haven't I got? You know that last minute kind of panic buy? That was me last night. So I've got quite a few bits arriving today. Um, and yeah, I need to do some packing. Lou's suitcase, I don't know if you can tell, is open on the floor down there. Mine is in the spare room, on the bed, kind of like taking up the whole of the spare room, basically, with just bits and bobs. I kind of feel like, yeah, I kind of feel like I've got quite a bit in the room ready to pack, but I thought I would film a little bit of a pack with me today and just sort of go through some of the bits that I'm planning on taking and show some new in bits that I've got for holiday um, and just do a very chilled vlog before I go. I say that, I don't know, I mean, it probably won't be chilled. I don't sound very chilled today, do I? Because of that last minute, last minute panic. Um, but I excuse the hair situation, by the way, I've literally just pinned it on top of my head because I've just put on a fake tan, hence why I'm here in my dressing gown as well. Um, but I've just put on a fake tan and it's very, I don't know if that's gonna show on camera, it's very, very brown. <laughs> it's a tan I've not used before. And the guide color came out so, so dark. I was just not expecting it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but it will obviously wash off. Um, but I think it's like a two hour express one. So I thought, oh, that's perfect. I can get that on, put my gown on, get sorted, and then shower off later. And hopefully have a little bit of a glow. Lou was like, why are you fake tanning to go on holiday? Seems odd, but I thought, I don't, like, I'm, yeah, I'm just, my body hasn't seen the sun for quite a while, and it's nice to have a little bit of a glow, isn't it, when you're getting into swimwear. It's just nice to have a little bit of a, little bit of a tan before you go. And my mum's coming over any minute. She's just on her, on her way over now, and she's going to help me with some last minute packing and organising and bits and bobs. So that's always handy to have another pair of hands on deck. Okay, excuse the mess behind me. I'm in the spare room and with some bits hanging up there on the door frame and um, the bathroom's still not finished yet so there's lots of clutter in the bathroom behind me and obviously clutter around me everywhere because I'm packing and I'm a messy packer. Um, and this rail is from full of clothes from some recent collaborations I've filmed. Um, so ignore all that but I've got my suitcase open on the bed. I've popped a few, a few things in so far but I'll chat through those bits in a minute. Um, but I've also got some bits kind of scattered around the bed that I'm going to be packing. So I am going to start off with my shorts. So I'm going to take two pairs of denim shorts with me. This pair are from Topshop. They're Topshop mum jeans. They're really, really comfy. They've got lots of stretch in them. So they're a good one. Um, and I just wear denim shorts so much when I'm on holiday. So I thought I would take two pairs because otherwise they'll end up getting grubby. Um, this is the other pair I'm taking. These are from Misguided. These are a little bit big, so I might have to take a belt with me to cinch those in on the waist, but they're so comfortable. I'm also taking a pair of linen shorts. These ones up here. My mum insisted on steaming these before I went, but I said they're probably going to get super creased in my suitcase. These are like a lovely lightweight linen short. I got these last year from Amazon Fashion. If they're still available, I will leave them linked, but they are fabulous. They're so comfortable, elasticated waist, and perfect on holiday with, I'm thinking these, with a white linen short, straw hat, basket bag, and tan accessories, lovely. And then I've also got these little black shorts that are just kind of really floaty, that kind of crinkly material. They are like, I think they're actually called beach shorts, and they're actually part of a co-ord, so I've got the matching shirt as well. I got this set a good few years ago from Misguided and it's just really, really comfortable to chuck on over the top of a bikini, go and have a breakfast, especially when you want to cover up, when you want long sleeves to cover up with. So that's a good, a good one to take. And then another pair of black shorts that are super old, but I just think they're so comfortable. Another pair of like black, lightweight, floaty shorts. I've got this bag here full of bikinis and swimsuits. I'll go through a few of those with you in a minute. I think I'm taking all of those. <laughs> I am there for two weeks. Um, but on top of the bag, I've got these from Amazon Fashion. Now I am working with Amazon Fashion on part of this video. So a few of the pieces I've picked up are some really great finds that I found on Amazon Fashion. But these 
I was so impressed with that I ordered them in three different colours. And they're just the most simple, floaty, like kind of wrap around beach cover up. So you can just wrap them. I mean, I will try and show you in a cutaway how they look on. Obviously, you'll see them when I'm on holiday. But they literally just tie on one side, tie in like this. And then this with a little bikini top, like a white bikini top on holiday. So comfortable, so lightweight and floaty and perfect to kind of chuck on going up and down to the pool. And also, in fact, let me show you with the black one because it's probably a little bit easier. Um, well, with this, you can actually go, so you can tie it round the back. You can then go, oh, what am I doing? I did it early. Oh yeah, round like this, round your neck and then have it as like a floaty midi dress as well or like over the top of a bikini like this as well. So they're super, super handy and they were 12 pounds each. They will of course be linked but I thought that they were just really, really lovely, floaty, lightweight fabric. So I got that in the black, obviously the white, and then where is the other one? Oh, there it is. And then in the beige as well, of course, um, because I just thought like with different swimwear, they'd work really well. And they're so, so light that they just fold up really small. So I'm going to roll those up really lightly yeah they're just so light super super handy I, I can see myself wearing those every single day on holiday so tuck those at the edge i thought the white with a white bikini black with black bikini and then the beige with others sticking with amazon fashion i also found this really cute little clutch bag on there which i thought would be perfect of an evening on holiday because i was kind of looking through my own bags thinking which ones do i want to take and a lot of them are too, almost a bit too dressy for that like chilled holiday vibe. Whereas I thought that this was perfect. It's just a very, very simple straw bag, got a popper, and I can just pop whatever I need of it in there of an evening and just hold it like this. And I just think with like long maxi dresses or little mini dresses, it'll be perfect. And again, I think it was, it was definitely under 20 pounds. I think it was about 15 pounds. So I got that from Amazon Fashion as well. I'm gonna put my accessories on this side actually. I also got these sandals from Amazon Fashion too that I love. Just a very simple pair of tan sandals that will go with so many of the outfits I'm going to be packing. Um, so I thought they were a good find as well. And then this was Lou's idea actually. We both ordered because it's like the weather there is amazing, but I think there's going to be a little bit of rain every now and then. I think with tropical climates, you can expect a bit of rain. So we got these little roll up um women's packet jacket a waterproof jacket that you roll up in a bag and we just thought for those days if it is chuck it down rain we just want to go and explore and go like on a nice long walk somewhere we can pop on shorts pop on our little waterproof jackets and off we go <laughs> um so just really simple super lightweight and um yeah perfect to pop in a bag and they roll up like sometimes with these, these things you think you won't be able to get it back in the bag but they roll up so easily and quickly. The only thing I would say is that I ordered that in a size eight and I kind of wish I'd gone for like a 10 or even a 12 just so it was a little bit looser, but I've left it a bit late to reorder it now. Um, but yeah, it was about, I think this was, these were 15 pounds each, so such a bargain. I will also leave that linked below as well. This shirt behind me is also from Amazon Fashion as well. My mum also steamed this when it arrived. Um, and this, again, just a great throw on over the top, like bikini cover up. But also I would also wear it with the um, linen shorts that I showed you as well, or with the denim shorts as well. Um, but I sized up to a size large in this because I wanted it to be really loose so that I could chuck it on over the top of swimwear. I'm gonna have to fold this carefully so it doesn't crease. And then I also got a couple of bikinis from Amazon Fashion as well. First of all, just a really simple, black triangle tie up one because they're just so handy on holiday aren't they just a very simple black bikini and then this white one which is a one shoulder so the top's like a one shoulder one and then it ties around the waist and it's got high waisted bottom so it kind of looks like a white swimsuit i feel like this is just a bit more of a fancy one whereas the black one's a bit more practical um but yeah as you can see i've got quite a few swimwear options and then this beautiful kaftan that i spotted online and i just thought was so so pretty and would look gorgeous over the top of bikinis just a very fancy i mean it will look lovely in a picture won't it let's be honest 
um, but I just thought it was so pretty so obviously I'm not going to try these pieces on but I am going to be filming like what I wore in a week videos while I'm away I'll probably film two if I can so I'll show you all of my outfits whilst I'm away and you can see all of them on um, but I thought that was gorgeous and then I also have this very old one that I've had for a good few years I think I got this from Zaffle years ago when I did a um, bikini video and it's just a very simple kind of like yeah again a very simple throw on bikini cover up so I think I'm I think I'm covered for cover ups <laughs> I am just taking one pair of trousers I was going to take this gorgeous red pair here that you have probably seen in a previous video or on my Instagram love those but I have to wear them with the biggest wedges ever and I'm not planning on wearing very very high heels whilst on holiday so they're out of the picture but these on the other hand are definitely coming with me these are just gorgeous like floaty trousers um, that you probably saw in a recent video they are coming with me I can see myself I mean they're so comfortable I can see myself wearing those a lot um, and then I think that's the only pair of trousers I'm taking I've also got this little white mini dress with the puffy sleeves that I'm taking as well this gorgeous white maxi dress from free people again you may have seen this on in a recent vlog um, but I mean it's quite a heavy not heavy but there's a lot of fabric but I could not take it it's so so lovely and just the most perfect white holiday dress and then I also a little bit of color because I feel like there's been a lot of white so far which I mean I do wear a lot of white on, on holiday but I thought the colour of this was just gorgeous for holiday. How lovely will that look? Low at the back. It's like a satin kind of cross between a midi and maxi dress. How pretty is that? Of course, I'm taking this beautiful red dress. And I think I might have to wear this with heels because it's quite long. So I have just tacked one pair of little heels that aren't too high um but i really don't like wearing heels on holiday but i just really wanted to take this dress with me i thought it was beautiful i'm not going to show you everything as i go because we'll be here all day but <laughs> quite a few little dresses that i'm taking of an evening this little leopard print one i got from asos a few years ago and it's just a lovely simple leopard print slip dress these are just so comfortable and handy to put on of an evening because they are so lightweight and then this white crochet midi dress is also going in. I've got a few crop tops. I've got this little black one that I wear so, so much. It's so comfortable and easy. So I'm going to pop that in. I've also got a little beige knitted crop top as well. That'll be perfect for under the white linen shirts. And then I've got a couple of very old, like little crochet kind of crop top bikini tops. I think they're both from Primark, actually. I got them years ago. Yeah, both from Primark, both very old. But I love them on holiday with like maxi skirts or with denim shorts. I just think they're, I think the crochet vibe of them is very holiday-ish. So in fact, I might put those in my bikini bag with the bikinis. And then another little linen crop top as well. And then another crop top. <laughs> this one's like a white ruched fabric. Just a little simple white cami, always handy on holiday. And then another gorgeous red dress. I just love this colour on holiday, especially with a matching lip. I love that kind of orangey red tone. And I just thought that was so cute. A little bit more colour, this gorgeous satin pink midi skirt. Actually, I think it's kind of in between a midi and a maxi. But again, of an evening with a vest top or a crop top, that'd be lovely. And then some more white. I've also got this cute little white mini dress to take as well. I'll definitely wear that of an evening as well. And actually, it's a little bit long. So I've packed, or I'm going to pack, this belt to wear around it. Just because then I can kind of cinch it up in the middle and cinch it in with this little belt. This is old. I think, I don't know if I got this from Amazon Fashion or from ASOS. I've had this for a good few years. Um, but yeah, works really well with the dresses if you want to cinch any of them in very comfortable stretchy white play suit in that super lightweight crinkly fabric as well very easy to chuck on around the hotel and then like I said I've also got this zip up bag full of bikinis and swimsuits I'm not going to show you all of them because there's quite a few in there um but I will obviously show you whilst I'm away um but a couple of favorites this one I absolutely love the print of this gorgeous I've had this for a few years now um, but I just think it's so pretty. I've also got this white swimsuit that again I've had for quite a while but really comfortable, nice style. Oh, in this suitcase here I've got a little mini um, carry-on suitcase, just the bits that I want to take on the plane. And then in here I've also got this swimsuit just in case this suitcase goes missing. 
I've got one swimsuit with me. Um, love that one. You may have seen that in a recent video. That's from Farfetch. I will leave it linked. I've got a little red floral one. I've got a stripy blue one, black and white striped one, and then a couple of black and white options as well. And then I've also got this little Ziploc bag that I've kept some of my, I've popped some of my underwear in as well, some little nude and black thongs in there. And then on this half of the suitcase, obviously I've just popped my bikinis there, um, but underneath I have got a summer hat. I'm taking this hat. In fact, I think I might take two hats. And in here I've popped in um, this little black crop top from Amazon Fashion and then the same crop top in white as well. These are just really just fab, stretchy, basic crop tops, really nice flattering shape and quite supportive as well. Um, so I've packed, popped black and white of those and then I've also got a little gym set tucked in there, matching shorts. I don't normally wear shorts, I would wear leggings, but I thought on holiday I can wear shorts and the matching crop top as well. Not sure if I'm going to be working out, like not sure if I'm going to be going to the gym, but if I do, I've got a set. This hat's from H&M. And then underneath here, I have packed a couple of books. My mum actually got these, me these for my birthday. This one is called, I Have Something to Tell You. A terrible secret when Jessica's husband comes home one night and says he has something to tell her, her world has turned upside down. I love like kind of cycle, like thriller sort of books like this on holiday. So that one looks really good. And this one is called The Push. Ith and Violet, mother and daughter, is a bond like no other, but what if your little angel is really a monster? And why can no one see it but you? <laughs> Mum, have you read the back of this book? I think she's trying to tell me something. Have you read the back of this book you bought me? <laughs> she's trying to tell me something. No, no, it's just funny, Mum. It says, <laughs> Blythe and Violet, mother and daughter, it's a bond like no other, but what if your little angel is really a monster and why can no one see it but you? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Charlotte, fancy that. I know. <laughs> How Just funny. You didn't read the blurb properly, did no, you? No, can't believe you judged a book by its cover, I didn't you? I did. Well, you read it and then you can tell me what it was like. I will tell you if it's any good. And I can read it after you. <laughs> um, I packed this little tripod for my camera. Usually I use like a big tripod, but for holiday, obviously I didn't want to pack a big one. So I thought this is super handy. My camera just screws onto the top of it and then these are bendy so I can kind of attach it to somewhere or prop it up somewhere. And then actually I got this other pair of sandals from Amazon Fashion, which I thought were really handy because the strap is so thin. And of an evening when I just want to wear a simple slip dress, but not with heels, I wanted something very kind of minimal. And I thought that these were perfect. Just a very simple nude leather band. Um, so packed those as well. Um, and that, oh, and underneath here, I've also packed these as well. This is the new, GHD curve, like the very thin hair curler. And the reason I packed this is because when I'm away, I like to just scrunch, let, let my hair dry naturally, like scrunch it up. And if it's curly and then a few bits are kind of like not quite sitting right, I can just run these over like some of the like messier bits and just really zhuzh it up so that it could just be like that beachy curly look rather than straightening it or doing it how I would usually do it here with like nice big waves, which by the way, I will film a tutorial of as soon as I'm back. I've been meaning to do it for ages, but I've just had other priorities, but I will fi film a hair tutorial as soon as I'm back from holiday, because um, I know so many of you have requested that. But yeah, that's where I'm at so far with packing. And then over here, this is where I am with hand luggage. So obviously not very far. This is that beautiful white set from Free People that I couldn't risk losing in the suitcase. So I put this in my hand luggage. I've also got that swimsuit I showed you a second ago, a cap, and then I'm also going to be taking this. I think I'll kind of have that as, well, I will have that as hand luggage as well. My new Celine bag, some chocolate, and then I've got four pairs of sunglasses in here as well. A couple of pairs of Ray-Bans, and what other sunglasses have I got? Three pairs of Ray-Bans, apparently. Oh, four pairs of Ray-Bans. <laughs> four pairs of sunglasses. Oh, a couple of them are loose, that's why. I've got two pairs of loose in here, two pairs of mine, and then I'm also going to take another one or two pairs as well. And this hat as well. I'm also going to pack that because I like the style of that. It's a little bit different to the other one, and I can see myself wearing both of them lots.
So I haven't completely finished packing my toiletries yet, but I have chucked quite a few bits that I'm taking with me in this big bag. These are so, so handy. And then I've got this little bag that I'm going to take on in my like carry-on luggage, which has got a few bits of my everyday makeup, foundation, lipsticks, lip liner, mascara. And then I've also got these little minis as well. So this is a mini serum. These are so handy when they come in things like glossy boxes or things like that. I always put them by for when I'm traveling. So I've got a serum that will last me probably a couple of weeks, but without taking my big one with me. And then I've also got like a little mini Factor 30 cream and a little Chanel day cream as well. Um, that's super handy and good to have them on the flight as well when your skin's a bit dehydrated. And then in this big bag, this is kind of like my, pretty much everything's gone in there. So I've packed a few face masks. I love when I'm on holiday and my skin is super like warm or dehydrated from the sun. Um, I love to put these in the fridge if there's one in our room and then pop them on and they're just so refreshing. So I've got a few Dr. Jark face, like the face sheet masks. Two for me, one for Lou. <laughs> um, obviously sun fact, I am going to pack some more, but I've got these ones. Um, these are like a clean, conscious antioxidant sunscreen and they're like safe for um, coral reef and they're just, yeah, they're really handy as well because you can spray them all over you. So rather than rubbing it all in, I thought they were handy. So I've got a big 50, a small 30, and I will take some more because that won't be enough for two weeks. And then I've got some moisturizer. I've got a day moisturizer for my face whilst I'm away. And a little mini hairspray, just because the majority of the time my hair will be up. Um, and when it's not up, I've also packed this, which is a salt spray. So on holiday, I either wear my hair up or like I might kind of scrunch it and then put some salt spray in it to have it like tousled, tousled, tousled and beachy. So I've packed that as well. And then in here I've also got a little hair oil. I'm not going to go through everything in this bag. So a lot of it is just makeup bits that I don't need like Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and lipsticks um, and bits that I don't need in my, in this one. Um, and then I also packed this little face tan. So I tend to wear Factor 50 on my face. In fact, I've actually got this little Factor 50 for my face, which is also from Soleil Toujours. I think I got these sent to me like a PR package um, but yeah packed up my face so I thought fake tan just my face just to even it up with my body um, and then I've got some hair clips in here I've got a waterproof mascara just for during the day if I need if I want to wear mascara it's nice to have a waterproof one I've never used this one before but again I think it came in a glossy box um, and then this is always super handy this is an Elizabeth Arden factor 50 stick this is handy for like your nose or your ears or anywhere that kind of end up, ends up getting burnt. It's like a very, just a very handy one to have. I've got um, paracetamol, ibuprofen. I've got a Factor 50 lip balm as well, um, which I mean, it's good to have this. I also use this one on my lips as well. I've got some hair clips, hair scrunchies, a comb. These little sachets are quite handy as well. These are factor 30 but I thought if I'm going out somewhere for the day but I want to be able to take a little bit of sunscreen with me I can pop one of those in my bag just in case I need to top up I've got my by Terry CC serum concealer oh also these again are handy for traveling so these are little Dermalogica serums as well and these three will see me through the week but without having to take a big one with me so this is the smart response serum and I just whenever I get these I always hang on to them for whenever I'm going away because they're super handy for traveling. Um, and then yeah, cotton buds, hair scrunchies, hair clips. I also got some of these little things that I need to put in here. These little bands, these little clear ones so that if I'm putting my hair in plaits, like French plaits, I can secure the end with these rather than a big black toggle like I usually do. Um, so yeah, apart from more sunscreen, shampoo and conditioner I also need to add into my bag. Um, like a nice hair mask because your hair gets so dry on holiday, doesn't it? Um, but apart from that, I think, toiletry-wise, I'm all good. I think. And then, of course, I've got a nice bright red lipstick as well, this gorgeous NARS lipstick that's like, I mean, I won't put it on now, but it's like the most beautiful bright red lipstick. Perfect for holiday. That's probably gone on. Has that gone on? Yeah, perfect for holiday. So I have got that in there. And just some nice like shimmery holiday makeup as well, like bronzers. 
I will add a few more makeup bits that I haven't packed yet, but I'll do that after I've done my makeup tomorrow morning and then get them in there. Um, but I think toiletry wise, that is everything apart from a hair mask and shampoo and conditioner and a bit more sun factor as well. But I thought Luke could put that in his suitcase. I've got two of these, so he'll put one in his case as well. And then I also got these sandals from Amazon Fashion as well, which I absolutely love. I think they're so perfect for holiday, but they're a little bit small. I got them in a size four and a half, which is my usual size, and they run small. So I would say if you love the look of these, then definitely make sure you size up by half a size. Um, but they're so lovely. How gorgeous would they look with like little white summery dresses or just with like shorts with the linen shorts. They'd be lovely. I think they're such a nice pair of sandals and they come in lots of different colour options, like lots of different styles and colours as well, this, this design. Um, but I am going to send them back and order them in a size five because I can see myself wearing these loads throughout summer and on other holidays this year, hopefully. I've got two little boxes of jewellery that I'm taking with me. I will put these in my hand luggage though because I don't want to, I don't want to risk losing them. But I've got this little box of earrings and a few other pieces from Majuri. And then I've got this box of pieces from Monica Vinader. And I did want to order one of those little travel cases to put my jewellery in, but I left it a bit too late. Um, but I'm sure it'll be okay in these boxes. Like I said, I am going to put it in my hand luggage. And I love gold jewellery on holiday. Like I've got loads of gorgeous, chunky pieces, this lovely necklace. Um, you will obviously see me styling a lot of them up whilst I'm away. It's a very healthy pre-holiday lunch as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We've just stopped for lunch and mum has very kindly cooked us salmon, brown rice and salad and it looks yummy. And then for bags, I'm going to wear this little black Chloe one to the airport tomorrow because it's a perfect size to fit my passport, phone, camera, anything like that that I kind of want on me, um, as well as my basket bag for like bigger bits. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd take this one and obviously I'll start this one, when I'm on holiday, I'll start this with any blacker, any kind of black dark outfits perfect of an evening with any like little black dresses that I'm wearing and then I've also ordered a little round kind of rattan bag from Amazon Fashion as well. It's arriving today, when it arrives I will show you, in fact I'll probably put a cutaway in of it when it comes. Um, hopefully it comes today or is it coming tomorrow? I've also packed a little bag of medication so I've got some paracetamol, ibuprofen, um, plasters, just like little bits and bobs that we may need and I've also popped my Invisalign in here as well, although I am at the end of my current kind of current cycle, so I will only have to wear these at night at the moment, um, which is handy. I'm also just packing a couple of plug adapters as well. I think that this is the correct one for Mauritius. Um, in fact, I think I've got one more as well, so I might take three with me just to make sure we're covered. And of course, most importantly, our passports in my little Aspinall of London passport case. Okay, I think I'm going to finish off the video here because I need to go and do my nails and my toenails. I'm going to put white gel on my toes and I think maybe like a pale pink on my nails. Um, and I'm sure there's lots more bits I will be adding to my case before the end of the day. But I can't think of anything off, off the top of my head now apart from a hairbrush. And, and I think I might take my GHDs as well even though I know I probably won't use them. I think I might take my straighteners just in case. Um, but I will also show you some of the other bits that arrive today. I'll either show, I'll either put them as cutaways into this video or I will show you whilst I'm away. And I know obviously I didn't try any of the pieces on but we would have been here all day if I was trying everything on. And like I said, I will be filming kind of what I wore in a week videos whilst I'm away. So you will see lots of the different holiday outfits, lots of the swimwear and pretty much everything else that I've packed whilst I'm away. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's just like a little bit of a last minute one, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.